Today on Hands-On Photography, we're going to dive into the world of video editing. Well, not really video editing, more about audio this time, even though it's inside a video editor, but uh, never mind. We're going to talk about some AI tools. And yes, I know you're tired of hearing about AI, but this tool is pretty daggum cool. You're going to want to see this. Stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Listeners of this program get an ad-free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad-free versions of all of our shows, plus membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, The Giz Fizz, and more. Go to twit.tv slash club twit. And thanks for your support. Hey, what's happening, everybody? I'm Matt Pruitt. This is Hands On Photography here on Twit. I hope y'all are doing well. I am unbelievable as always. Today, we're going to dive into our world of video editing. We're not necessarily talking about video. We're actually going to talk more about audio. Why? Because I don't care how crispy and pretty and, and nice and saturated your video footage is. If your audio is craptastic, then not one person is going to watch it. Just it is what it is. Heck, you can ask our man, Mr. Alex Lindsay on Mac Break Weekly, and uh, he'll tell you the exact same thing. He'll tell you, look, I'm not having it. So <laughs> let's make sure our audio is good to go in our videos, folks. So today I want to look at a tool offered from the folks at Adobe. Uh, they've, been, they've been working on a project called Project Shasta, and it's all AI based. And yep, I said that daggum buzzword, AI. Yes, it's AI based. And uh, it allows you to take audio production and just speed up the workflow by giving you some tools to help fix some things, you know, whether it's fixing reverb, just in case you're in a studio or a room that's got a whole lot of roomy echo sounds. Mine doesn't because it's treated decently. Thank you. Sound assured. Uh, or you just have a pretty bad mic and not a mic that's not as awesome as this how PR 40. Uh, or you have someone that's just doing a lot of plosives, p -p 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 plosives that sounds all all horrible. You know, those things can really be jarring to the person that's watching your video uh, because the, the visuals are beautiful. But whatever's hitting them in the ears, mm, it's a total turnoff. So we're going to take a look at Project Shasta. And it's actually one tool in particular that's available to everybody right now to get the full project. You have to request it. But um the other tool is called Enhanced Speech, and it's available to everybody. You just got to go in and register with an email address and you got access. Boom. Um, and it works really, really well to handle some of the day to day things, simple day to day things inside of um, uh, audio files that people like to clean up, such as room noise and things like that. So let me go ahead and switch on over to Premiere Pro and let's take a look at this particular tool. OK, so here we are inside of Premiere Pro and I know everybody doesn't have Premiere Pro. Doesn't matter. You can use this tool with whatever video editor you decide to use, because what's going to happen is you need to take your audio that's in your video, extract it and then upload it into the tool. OK, but I've already done that. Uh, I've already got the files over here. And but what I want to do now is let you take a listen to some sample footage here in sample audio. Uh, this is from Floss Weekly. I'm the technical director on that show as well at the network. And this particular episode, our host, Mr. Simon Phipps, his mic was sounding a little weird and it was given some additional hiss that we didn't like. And so what I wanted to do was stop the show and capture that noise print. So our editors, Mr. John, uh, John Ashley, I believe, was working on the show that day, or maybe it was Mr. Anthony, one of our great editors. Uh, so they have that noise print to use as a profile to figure out what noise is and be able to take it out in post. So let's just play it back. So this is Phipps. Can you turn your mic on for a second, but don't say anything? There. Did you hear that hiss? So when I told him to turn his mic on, a, a hiss started happening. So let's listen again. There. All right. That's a problem. So we we took that noise 
print and put it into post so we could clean up the audio for the post production. Now, what does that entail for you as an editor? That's a lot of push and pull and moving filters and things like that and doing some equalizer. And it, it takes a little bit. Sometimes it's fairly quick. Sometimes it could take a little bit of work. Well, if you're using, you know, enhanced speech from AI, uh, from Adobe, it's literally just upload it and let the AI do its thing and, and, and re-download the file and put it into your project. So what I'll do now is just switch on over to the web because it's all browser based. So I'll hop into my browser. Okay. So this is the site It's podcast.adobe.com slash enhance. And it's literally just upload your file, hit and, and hit the process button. Now there are some, some catches here. You can only upload an MP3 file. You can't upload your video, only an MP3 file. Uh, and you can only upload a, um, or you can only upload a wave file. Okay. And then they have some, a couple other limitations here as far as being the size and it can only be an hour long, but you can see all of that on the screen when you get there. And I've already done this already, but you literally just click upload, grab your file and just go from there. Uh, depending on how big the file is and how much is going on, will will determine how long it takes to process this. And in my instance, it, it wasn't very long. It was less than a minute or so, but I'm not going to have you guys just sit there and watch this thing continue to do its processing and whatnot. Once it's done, it literally just gives you the option to download the corrected file. So that's what I did. Now we're going to hop back into Premiere Pro. All right. So we're back into Premiere Pro and I have the files already downloaded and they, they have the, the, the word enhanced in the file name. So I know this is the right one. So let's take a look at this one here. All right. So we'll just grab it on over for Floss Weekly. All right. And what I'll do is a bit of like AB, let you hear what it sounded like originally versus the enhance. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the gain just a touch on here so we can hear it clearly. So let's go back to the first part and I'll mute the original audio. Let's go ahead and hit play now. And Mr. Phipps, can you turn your mic on for a second, but don't say anything? All right, he's gonna turn the mic on. We should hear noise right here. And we don't have any noise. Great. Okay, thank you folks. All right, so let's go back. I'm gonna move the playhead back to right before we should hear the noise. And I'm going to turn it on the original track, what it sounded like. So here we go. Turn it on the original track. Hear the difference? Much cleaner, right? Oh. So the only other caveat I found on this was how it made my voice sound. So this is the enhanced version with me giving my little, you know, direction here. So and Mr. Phipps, can you turn your mic on for a second? And this was the original. And Mr. Phipps, can you turn your mic on for a second? Yeah, there's a slight difference there. And basically what it what happens, it sounds like some of the, the high frequencies were adjusted a bit too much for me, as well as the midtones. Um, so that can be fixed in an equalizer. But again, this is much better as far as the noise capture and getting that taken care of that. That's oh. That's a, a much, much needed remedy there for that headache. So now let's look at this other piece of footage. This is some behind the scenes footage of shooting as the tech guy. OK, and I use my Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro smartphone and the, the, the microphone on it is fine, but it's not a studio mic and they're not speaking into my mic. They're away from me. They're several feet in front of me as I film this. So let's take a listen to it. And then the packets slow way down and the computer gets upset and blah, blah. Now, that's Mr. Laporte. Y'all know how good his voice sounds. Just, no, it does not sound that good right now coming through my little phone's microphone. Blah, blah. So I would also make sure you, do you, what are you using for a router? Not the one that they gave you, I hope. Orby's good. I just had another thought too. Are you doing this on a PC or a laptop? Like a, you know, connected computer or a laptop? Right. And then that's Mr. Micah Sargent. You know how good his voice sounds too. And yeah. He's good. I just had another thought too. Are you doing this on a PC or a laptop? No, that's, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't do their voices any justice. So again, I went into the, the 
speech enhance here off it from Adobe and grabbed the, um, the file out of this and it did its thing and tried to clean it up. So let's go ahead and drop it in and take a listen. And I'll go ahead and increase the gain on it a little more just to be safe so y'all can hear it. All right, so let's mute the original track right there. And let's just play back. And then the packets slow way down and the computer gets upset and blah, blah, blah. So I would also make sure you get... Now that's not bad. That's not as good as the how PR40 that he's speaking into, but it, it's not bad. Because what happened is it took away some of that extra ambient sound going on in the studio. Deep cool. What are you using for router? Not the one that they gave you, I hope. Okay, so now let's listen to Mr. Sergeant. Orby's good. I just had another thought, too. Are you doing this on a PC or a laptop? Like a Okay, that's not as good, but it's still better. <laughs> it doesn't really sound like Mr. Sergeant right here. Orby's good. I just had another thought, too. Are you doing this? But considering all we did was just upload it and didn't necessarily go through a lot of push and pull with an EQ, this this that's, that's a good start. So let's hear what it's sounded like originally for Mr. Sergeant. I just had another thought too. Are you doing this on PC or a laptop? Like a, you know, connected computer or a laptop? Big difference, right? Yeah. And this tool is available to anybody that wants to use it. So, hey, I say give it a try. And I definitely have had my thoughts about AI and I'm not backing down from those thoughts on AI. So again, AI is not going anywhere at least not anytime soon, but you know what else I think? AI is not going to replace content creators, photographers, videographers, and so forth. It's not, but what it will do is give us tools to make this job even easier and make it more effect, uh, efficient for us to be able to get more jobs done and be able to get more invoices and oh, make more money, right? Isn't that, isn't that the goal, right? So, Give it a shout. Uh, I'll put some links here in our show notes so you can try it out. Uh, again, this is part of Adobe's Project Shasta, where they're taking AI and allowing us to have some tools to really work on audio content creation. Hey, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. Or even if you have some feedback or comments about the episode, shoot me an email. Hop at twit.tv. Again, it's hop at twit.tv and make sure you folks are telling everybody all about the show. Send them over to the website, twit.tv slash HOP. That's twit.tv slash HOP for hands on photography. We'll just see all of our previous episodes, just see all of our show notes. And um, you'll even see some of our previous interviews, lots of tips and tricks that are shared there. Share it with all of your friends and family and share it with at least one enemy. I greatly appreciate all the support. Shout out to my man, Mr. Victor, who just continues to make me look and sound good each and every week here on the show. Thank you, my brother. Really do appreciate you. And shout out to all of you for being loyal, hands-on photography listeners and viewers. Thank you all so much. Hey, with that said, safely create and dominate, and I shall see you next time. You want to hear about the latest news happening in the tech world from the people who write the article, sometimes from the people who are actually making the news? Well, we got a show for you here at twit.tv. It's called Tech News Weekly. Me, Jason Howell, and my co-host, Micah Sargent, we talk with some amazing people each and every Thursday on Tech News Weekly. And we share a little bit of our own insights in each of us bringing a story of the week. That's at twit.tv slash TNW. Subscribe right now.